In this video, we will compare the PSVR 2 vs Valve Index, helping you decide which virtual reality headset is better for you. Design and Comfort Starting off with the design and build quality, the Valve Index has a sleek and modern look with a comfortable fit thanks to its adjustable head strap and cushioned face pad. It also comes with finger tracking controllers that provide a more immersive experience. Where PSVR 2 will sport a contrasting black and white look, the Valve Index goes for a muted matte black with a white light line design. However, the novel design of the PlayStation Halo strap is known to effectively distribute the weight of the headset onto areas where there is padding. Speaking of weight, no official metric has been released yet for PSVR 2, but is expected to be just under 600 grams, whereas the Index clocks in at 809 grams. Secondly, the build quality of the Valve Index is premium with high-quality materials, little give or loose bits. Display Determining the visual experience between PlayStation VR 2 and Valve Index is a push and pull of several factors. PSVR 2 has a higher resolution per eye and will feature foveated, optimized, rendering from its eye tracking. Whereas Index has a more novel lens design, wider field of view, and higher refresh rate for a smoother virtual reality gaming experience. The question is what you prioritize the most. The resolution, FOV, and refresh rate. PSVR 2 will feature a higher resolution per eye with 2000 by 2040 compared to Valve Index 1440 by 1600 per eye. However, Valve Index has a larger field of view of 130 degree, whereas PSVR 2 has 110 degree. Likewise, Index will feel much smoother with a 144 Hz refresh rate when PSVR 2 has 120 Hz. Display Engine Where Index uses an LCD, PSVR 2 will use OLED. This difference in the display engine means certain advantages and disadvantages for both headsets. An LCD engine for virtual reality means that the headset itself is thicker as a separate light source is needed for the display to function. Appositely, an OLED display engine combines the light source and display into one, effectively slimming everything down. Because of this, OLED displays can achieve deeper blacks because each pixel acts as its own light source, meaning when a pixel is turned off it is completely black. However, it also means that the lifetime of an OLED display is lower than an LCD. LCD has higher brightness levels because it features its own backlighting. Foveated Rendering from the integrated eye tracking from Tobi for PSVR 2 comes dynamic foveated rendering. This innovative feature will optimize the content being viewed in the headset to make what is seen crisper and what is peripherally viewed blurred. As a result, game developers can focus processing power and attention on what the wearer is looking at, delivering awe-inspiring virtual reality gaming experiences. Tracking PSVR 2 takes the cake as it is an inside-out headset with integrated eye tracking for added features. Essentially, meaning that PSVR 2 works without external tracking stations. Oppositely, Valve Index requires external stations to function, having its tracking outside and while it doesn't have eye tracking. Several features are enabled by eye tracking on the PlayStation VR 2, some of which are video pass-through and grayscale for seeing the outside world from inside the headset and intent anticipation. Through this, you can improve what you want to interact with and as a result deliver better interactive VR experiences. Although, it should be mentioned that the inconvenience of Valve Index external tracking stations likely means a higher tracking quality. The Index is even able to track controllers behind your back. Controllers Interestingly, there is not much difference between the Valve Index controllers and the PSVR 2's Sense controllers. However, the Sense controllers will likely deliver a higher immersive experience. The reason is that the controller technologies from PlayStation 5, such as improved and dynamic haptics and resistive triggers, will also be seen in the PSVR 2's Sense controllers. Lastly, Valve Index features thumb and finger tracking, whereas PSVR 2 only offers partial tracking from its capacitive sensors. This means that interaction will be more minute and detailed with the Index compared to PSVR 2's Sense controllers. Games and Content When it comes down to pure numbers of virtual reality games, PC VR is impossible to beat. When it comes down to PC VR platforms, Steam VR is hard to compete against. In fact, Steam VR is so popular that we use it to assess the industry health of PC VR. The reason is simply that Steam within PC gaming is the market leader by a huge margin. 
and attracts both AAA titles and experimenting indie games. Additionally, PC VR has the added benefit of offering entertainment, online, and social VR content, something console virtual reality is lacking in comparison. However, PlayStation VR has the backing of the leader within console gaming Sony Entertainment Studios, which means the release of exclusive first- and second-party titles not to be found anywhere else. Games like Resident Evil 7, Biohazard and Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, other notable differences. It is worth pointing out the added features that PlayStation VR 2 comes with. For one, the inclusion of headset haptics has never been seen before and is still unknown what immersive effects this feature will have. But if it means you can feel raindrops on your head when it rains in the game world, sign me up. Additionally, eye tracking comes with added benefits that most don't consider, such as added security of iris, scanning for logging in in games using eye tracking in their gaming experience. Lastly, while both PSVR 2 and Valve Index feature full video pass-through from integrated cameras, the Index brings better quality with color and higher resolution. In comparison, PSVR 2's video pass-through is in grayscale. Which one is better? Deciding between Valve Index versus the PSVR 2 comes down to a few factors. The breadth of gaming and other virtual reality content is better on the Valve Index, coming from the development of PC VR. Oppositely, with PSVR 2, you are likely to get exclusive VR titles nowhere else to be seen. Both the PSVR 2 and Valve Index have their own strengths and weaknesses. If you're looking for a more immersive and realistic experience, the Valve Index may be the better choice with its advanced tracking technology and high-resolution displays. However, if you're looking for a more affordable option with exclusive titles from Sony's own studios, the PSVR 2 may be the way to go. Ultimately, it depends on your personal preferences and what you're looking for in a VR headset. Thanks for watching.